Lizette LaForge and I own Beacon Windows and we specialize in comprehensive sliding glass door refurbishment. Today we're going to talk about a very special door. This is an Anderson door. It's an older door. It was put in in the 80s and it's what's called a vinyl clad door which means the inside is made out of wood and the outside, the exterior that you can see is vinyl. The Anderson doors, as they age, they have specific problems and they can be a little challenging to fix. So I thought we'd make a video about that and show you a little bit of what we can do and some of the restrictions of what really isn't possible to fix in an Anderson door. So you're clearly aware of making a better decision when you decide to refurbish or to replace. So first we're going to start with weather stripping. Anderson has specialized weather stripping. I want to show you an example of where this weather stripping on this door has become damaged. You can see that it's ripped up and you can see that it's quite fat. It's a special color. This happens to be a terratone colored door so you don't want to put a white weather stripping or a gray weather stripping on it. And this client had to purchase special weather stripping so I'm going to show you what that looks like. This is a replacement piece of this kind of weather stripping. Each kind of piece of weather stripping on the store would be unique in the way it's shaped. So depending on where the problem is will be dependent on the kind of weather stripping you need. This particular weather stripping uh, is designed to go right there in the interlocking areas. Okay? The next thing that uh, these doors need when trying to make them better is rollers. So I have an example here. We have two rollers. This is the old roller, and you can clearly see that it's getting a lot of corrosion and so forth in there. And these are what they call an open bearing, where you can actually see into the bearing area. What we're replacing it with is what's called a stainless steel tandem roller set, and this has a precision seal bearing. This is much better in the long run against the salt and the corrosion and the issues that might come up in the sliding glass doors in this particular location because they're right on the water. So we will replace these rollers with a better quality roller system. Now another thing that sometimes happens in the Anderson doors is when the wood swells up and gets a lot of water, it will have a tendency to rot. And that will happen down at the bottom most commonly. In this particular door, on this first door uh, behind the screen, this particular door has a little bit of that. But because this location is rather shaded, because it has a nice porch, this particular door doesn't have as much rot as if this door got a lot of water. So if you have a door that has a lot of water, then you may have more rot. You won't necessarily see it, but you'll start to feel sponginess in between the two pieces of vinyl, the cladding. So keep your eyes open. If you're starting to feel sponginess, that's telling you there's wood rotting in behind. Here's an example of another door in this building where they have much more extensive rot. This particular unit did not have hurricane protection for many years and so because of that more water was able to get up to the door. This caused the wood to rot and the homeowner here has tried using caulking to keep the water from continuing to get back inside that wood and softening this. But you can already see that this is definitely softer and has a problem. And this is a candidate for replacement when you see something like this. This is still salvageable um, because this is in the non-operating door. This is the door that's stable. But eventually, over time, this would be a, a project perhaps for a new door. Now, the door has one other issue where two doors meet together. That's called an interlock. Where they do nest together, the vinyl door with the wood inside has a tendency to bow. And I'm going to show you an example of that on another door. So we're going to cut the video and we're going to come right back with a little example of what a bow looks like between two doors. And in that particular case, there's only so much we can do about that because we can't fix the bowing, we can't fix the wood issue, we can put new weather stripping on it, but you still may have some air coming through there just because of the way the door bows. So let's go take a look at what that looks like. So here's the inside of the door. And where the bowing is happening is between this piece of extrusion and this piece of extrusion. And what is happening is inside the wood, there's wood inside, both of these are skins, they're called vinyl clad doors, and the wood is in the middle. So this particular door, over time with moisture, will start to warp. 
And you can see the evidence of this by looking here. Between where the two doors nest, if we go all the way to the top, you're gonna to see that it's smaller here than it does as it comes. It gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And if we go all the way to the bottom, you're going to notice that it gets smaller again where the two doors are basically forced together because of the rail, okay, the track that it runs on. So that's why this door has a bit of few challenges that we can't do too much about. We can replace the weather stripping between the two pieces, which is what we're going to do with the weather stripping that the homeowner purchased. And we will go, we'll have some purchase information on this video so that you'll be able to source the weather stripping because we don't carry this type of weather stripping because it's very, very specialized and it's quite expensive. So what we'll do is we'll allow you, the homeowner, to source your weather stripping from Anderson. Once you have that, um, then we can put the wheels in for you. Before you were to order that, though, you should have us come out and take a look of, at your Anderson door because if it has extensive rot, there's really no point in weather stripping and it's time for a new door. And typically where the rot happens, you'll notice it down here in this area, there'll be, um, this will get all soft underneath. This one's quite nice and quite sturdy, even though it's over 30 years old. But this is because this particular porch is quite extensive and they have a lot of hurricane protection. So they don't usually get any water on these doors. So if you are experiencing door challenges, whether they're a vinyl clad wood door like Anderson or Pella, or they're an aluminum frame door, which are typically easier and have a longer lifespan than the vinyl doors, please feel free to give us a call. We service the Pinellas County area all the way from Dunedin all the way down to Tierra Verde. We also go over the bridge down into Bradenton and Sarasota. And of course, we don't mind answering questions on the phone if you live beyond those areas. My name is Lizette LaForge. I own Beacon Windows and we specialize in sliding glass door repair. Thanks for watching this video.